my gosh, Tammy, I just found this adorable aesthetically pleasing leaf outside. Wow, Becky, that's so cool. Hey, get off of me, youngsters. What are you doing? I may be old, but I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing. Wait, how are you alive? What do you mean? Well, you don't really breathe. You whippersnappers. Do your biology teachers teach you nothing? Krebs. It's a citric acid cycle, Krebs. Try carboxylic. Ugh. You go through cellular respiration and leaves go through photosynthesis because we're not animals, both figuratively and literally. Well, we know about photosynthesis, that's like water and sugar and sun and energy and alive and stuff. I guess I have to teach you guys since you don't know. First, let's start with the equation. 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus light energy equals C6H12O6 plus 6O2. So carbon dioxide from your cellular respiration, water, and light energy from the sun go into the reaction. And the light is photons. You shut your stomata when you're talking to me. Anyway, out of the reaction comes sugar and water. Is that easy enough for you? Yeah, thanks, Lord. Where are you going? We're not done. Yeah. Xylem brings water in while carbon dioxide gets in through stomata. Chlorophyll is how we absorb the photons from the sun. Chlorophyll is in membranous sacs called thylakoid that are stacked up. The stacks are grain up. Yes, that is correct. The way I remember it is my grandma has like a bunch of money from retirement, so she's like stacked. <laughs> the area in the thylakoid is called the lumen, and the area outside is called the stroma. And all of this is inside the chloroplast. Now we're going to talk about the light dependent reactions which is the first stage in photosynthesis. Photosystem 2 starts this stage. Wait, why would you start with Photosystem 2? Because. Okay, okay. In Photosystem 2, a photon reaches chlorophyll and an electron absorbs the energy, getting it excited. Like a kid who ate too much candy. To use the energy contained in the excited electrons, they go through the electron transport chain. Um, what exactly is that? An electron transport chain is a series of complexes that transfer electrons from electron donors to electron acceptors through reduction and oxidation that happens simultaneously. It's coupled with the transfer of protons, which are hydrogen ions across the thylakoid membrane. After they go through the electron transport chain, water molecules are split by an enzyme causing it to release oxygen while the hydrogen ions are left in the thylakoid. Oh my gosh, we're breathing plant parts. Ugh, oh, just, ugh. Oh. Well, it's technically a byproduct. My name Van Ruler. When the chlorophyll is hit by light again in photosystem 1, an electron absorbs the energy and once again gets excited. This time, however, after passing through molecules, the excited electron attaches to NADP+, along with a hydrogen ion, to make NADPH. That's the reduced version, right? Yep. Now, do you remember how I said the hydrogen was being pumped into the lumen? Because Good! I because I don't. All that hydrogen is used for ATP synthesis at the end of the light reactions. They want to go to the area of lower concentration, which is the stroma. As they trouble down the gradient, they turn the synthase 
and to put the ATP and phosphate groups together to make ATP. Oh yeah, we're done! Sit down, child! It's time for the next stage. Why are we even listening to the leaf? Now let's talk about the Calvin cycle. Where did it occur? It occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast and uses NADPH and ATP from the light reactions to convert CO2 into sugar. So in the first part, the CO2 reacts with RUBP, a compound that has five carbons, to produce phosphoglyceraldehyde. Um. You can just say G3P. It's basically just three carbons and a phosphate group. Also, Rubisco is the enzyme used. Exactly. And to make this reaction happen, we use the ATP and NADPH from the light-dependent reaction. We also need to make more RUBP, and to do that, we use some of the G3P we just made. That's what makes it a cycle. So where's the sugar? The sugar is made with the G3P we didn't use to make more RUBP. Oh, I should tell you about the different plant types. Ugh. So I'm a C3 plant, which means I just go normally through photosynthesis. Now a plant in a hotter area, that's probably a C4 cam. These minimize photorespiration. Why would you do that? Not all plants get that much water. I need to make sure they don't dry out. C3 plants have the light-dependent reaction in the mesophyll cells, which are spongy tissue in the middle of the leaf while the Calvin cycle occurs in special cells called bundle sheath cells around the leaf veins. So pepcarboxylase is an enzyme that tends not to bind with oxygen. It is what is used to fix carbon dioxide to oxaloacetate, which is a four carbon organic acid. However, since we need to move this through the bundle sheath cells with the help of ATP, the molecule is converted to malate, which is similar. The Calvin cycle then does its thing with carbon dioxide to make sugar. That actually sounds simple. Pretty simple. On to CAM plants. CAM actually stands for Crassulation Acid Metabolism. Can we just stick to CAM? CAM plants. Don't separate the light-dependent and independent reactions physically. They instead do them at different times. At night, CAM plants open their stomata, allowing carbon dioxide to diffuse into the leaves. This carbon dioxide is fixed into oxaloacetate by pepcarboxylase, just like in C4 plants. Unlike C4, it stores the malate in vacuoles till daylight, where it is transported out of the vacuole and broken down to release the carbon dioxide for light to independent reactions. These things use a lot of extra ATP. Well, they have enough to spare. This leaf was teaching us about photosynthesis. What leaf? He's right. Hmm? He's gone. Oh, this one? You guys know that this is just a leaf, right? If this leaf taught you anything, it was in your hearts all along.
Wait, you're going, going to be serious, so should I be looking at the leaf and that doesn't fit with the script? <laughs> oh, that's what you meant. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we need I to see. sit down again. equation 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus light energy equals C6H12. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh no. Okay. It's here. Huh? It's here. Okay. I'm going through it. I'm like, we need a minute. Let me make sure you didn't turn it in like yesterday and swiped it or that's it? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Obviously it's another cut. shot. Cut. cut. Is this gonna be all cuts? Yes. Okay. It's on the floor. I mean my I know! On the floor. It's supposed to be on the floor. Why? Because he's supposed to pick it up. I said <laughs> believe! Do you not read the script? Come on, Anna. <laughs> like get you gotta get low. That's so hard. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Wait. Like, I don't know how to do it. Okay. But your hand, your hand. What? Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is this is so good. <laughs> this is good enough. I was born in a thunderstorm. I grew up overnight. I played alone. I played on my own. I survived. Hey, 